Hello everyone, my name is Zipron and welcome to this video about item sorting. I will try to explain um, a compact way to sort items um, in an understandable way. Um, I will explain all mechanics I use, I will uh, give you examples. So I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. First of all, comparators and containers. If we place items in a container, the comparator will uh, measure how many items in the container and will output uh, a redstone signal with the strength according to this um, to the amount of of items in the container. Now, for the hopper, let's let's uh, watch these lights. If I put five in it, one. Uh, block turns on so that means a strength of, of a rest and strength of one. Now if we add some items here 18 plus 4 equals 22 so 22 items still equals um, a redstone strength of one. Now if we add one more we will get a redstone strength of two. Now we will be using this uh, mechanic for the item sorter because we want um, hoppers only to suck up items from one one sort, right? So we want our hopper to be filled only with sign wool um, in this example because if we take for example some red wool it won't well it will bounce right it won't it won't get sucked up by the hopper because there is yeah there is no place in it. So that's the first part. Another um property of the the comparator is that it it repeats a single in another way a redstone repeater uh, repeats a single. Now let's take a look. I place one item in here. This is strength of one. However the repeater takes the input signal here and it will repeat it with uh, strength of 15, 14, 13 and so on. Now if you use the comparator to repeat the signal it will only repeat um, the strength it gets from um, from the input and it will output that. So that's another important uh, thing because then we can yeah repeat um, the signal strength. Now again watch these two uh, redstone lamps like this and like that. Okay now let's take a look at the hoppers. I want to use two terms in this video according to hoppers, um, namely push and pull. If an item falls on a hopper, the hopper will pull the item in and will push it out on the other side, into or from any containers. Now this is an important mechanic because hoppers can wi will do them both. Now if we power this hopper, this one is locked. If we put any items in it, this hopper won't push nor pull any items, right? They will stay in there. However, this hopper will still push items even though this one is locked. That means we put items in here. This hopper, because it's pointing to this one, will push the items into this one. It's locked, but that's just the way it happens, right? Now, if you unpower this hopper, it will start pushing the items in the chest like this. Now let's take a, uh, a look at this one. This hopper will pull items from above and will push them into nothing, into air. So that means just if we put items in here they will stay in there forever. However this hopper is, is powered for the moment but when we unpower it this hopper will, will start pulling items from this one. So there's nothing in it right now. You can see items are pulled out into this one and into the chest. Now we want to use both mechanics and combine them into this setup. It's very easy. It's very it's it's not complicated, it's stackable, it's resource friendly. We have this hopper pointing over there, so into no container, so it will do nothing, just keeps the items. This hopper is powered by this torch, which means it won't push or pull any items. 
um, it contains one that doesn't matter when it's unpowered it will start pulling items from this one and pushing them into the chest now when will that hopper get unpowered these two um, comparators we saw over there um, they will emit a redstone signal strength according to the amount of blocks in here and you see the the number 22 uh, appearing again that's because as soon as we add one more item in here or more this line will get powered repeater gets powered torch gets pow unpowered blocks gets unpowered and hopper will start pulling items and pushing them in the chest now you can see this happen right now torch is off hopper is pulling and pushing into the chest once uh, there aren't enough items anymore in this hopper the signal will just stop and, and this hopper will get powered again and get locked that's that's basically everything there is to um, in an item sorter we're going to stack all these all these uh, chests together with our redstone setup and we just make items go over these hoppers like over here and they will get sucked up and sorted uh, like they have to okay now all these chests are empty right and they are every chest is hooked up except the last one um, to such sorting device and as, as you can see over here we will sort on sign wool over here on purple purple right blue brown hang on a second brown and green now the last uh, chest is just an overflow chest all items which don't go in any of these chests will get um, pulled in this one now let's just quickly demonstrate this I put some random blocks in there too they get dispensed this chest will fill up with the cyan purple blue well brown no brown at the moment no green I will stop this one okay however we, we saw all these chests being sorted there is a small issue as you can see we have all these blocks which aren't sorted in these chests the reason why is because of an mm, annoying glitch or feature of the hoppers sometimes when items don't get sucked up by a hopper they will they will make a jump and if it's timed correctly or badly um, the item will jump over the next hopper so it won't say um, we have purple over here it, if purple blocks jump jumps over this hopper it won't get sucked up that's an issue right we will I will demonstrate it you see one jump there it, it did get sucked up uh, it only happens sometimes you see yeah that that's the white one uh, well over there green you saw it jumping okay so there are a few ways to to fix this problem the, the cool thing about this setup is it's it's very compact and stackable now we could just hook this chest or, or better this hopper up to a reset line as we can say to this dispenser and just repeat um, the cycle until everything is sorted that's an option and it's actually one of the better ones there is another option um, which I will show you in a minute but this one if you just uh, make a loop where the items can pass it doesn't have to be a hopper you can just make a loop with with the water um, it will be yeah it, it's a good solution and it will work 99.99% of the time um, 
the the advantage of using an extra hopper is to reset the despawn time of the items. Now, if we don't want to use this, we can use this setup. It's it's pretty much the same. However, we have an extra space here, not because we want to <laughs> we we want a more fancy design, but then we can control the items better if they jump right here over this hopper they will land before this one and they will just um, get sucked up if, if, if they belong over there however there is still a small error rate um, with this setup a very small one we're dispensing now and most of the items will get sucked up in the right chest however well this was from a previous test there's some junk in there um, some items as you can see two yellow four yellow seven orange aren't sucked up by this setup that's just it's it's the way hoppers work I don't know if it's a glitch if it's get it it will get fixed um, and it tends to happen more if you have if you have more items in the stream so if you would hook hook this up to let's say a mob farm items wouldn't uh, wouldn't spawn that fast so you wouldn't have this problem a lot but however it's it's annoying right yeah we can see this one white bull there, there's still an error rate um, however the most one one of the most best solutions is just to make the, the this loop right it's the best thing to do and then you have uh, a very nice and compact way of uh, sorting items let's just start here I will show you how to build one or two and then the rest yeah it, it's pretty straightforward um, the good thing about this design is that it's very stackable um, easy to use so yeah just do as I do and you'll be fine so one two three one two you you can change that one but that's just for the looks right you can also build this in the sky and then you would have to place a block there okay two comparators like this two redstone a redstone repeater redstone torch and to finish and this is the most difficult part you have to aim for uh, you have to shift and aim for the comparator so that the, the hopper uh, will push items into nothing so yeah just make sure that that's always alright um, that's basically it you can stack this as many times as you want um, I prefer this setup the most it's it's also it's not that that much uh, stacked as this one and it has a low error rate and then you could just make your water channels over here um, it's important to use ice every time you place a a sign because otherwise items will get stuck So let's just take sign like this, like that, some water, like this. And we're all set, right? You can just you you have to fill in this hop these hoppers with the item you want. I do it like this four here and then just I, I place the rest of the stack right there and it will get uh, sorted out until the buffer is is small enough will help it a bit right 22 that's the magic number um, and you just fill in these oh you just fill in these hoppers and yeah that that's basically it now people I hope you enjoyed this video um, as always feedback is much appreciated uh, likes are also welcome. Um, thanks for watching. I hope uh, you enjoyed it. See you next time.